everyone welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Devin, and if you're new here i make beauty lifestyle and travel videos soon in the near future i also just realized that i never really formally introduced myself i have a stem degree in aeronautics and um i've always loved beauty related content i love traveling and I just wanted to do something about it. I always had the voice in the back of my mind saying like, what if, what if you started a YouTube channel? Where would you be? It just kept growing and growing and growing after I graduated from college. And this year, this past year, it's just grown to the point where it's like, okay, I have to do something now. So I figured I have nothing to lose, but I have everything to gain from this experience. So if you're in the same boat feeling the way that I am about any type of decision in your life, then I want to be the one to tell you, go for it. We can't live in the fear of the what if, and we just have to take charge of our destiny, really. Just remember, you have nothing to lose but everything to gain from whatever decision you're trying to make regarding your life. So today though, I decided to make a little shopping haul type of video. I did go to Abercrombie & Fitch, I ordered that online, but I went to Sephora, Lush, Urban Outfitters, and Target. It's quite a lot of things that I got. Oh, also, if you've been watching the past two videos, you might have noticed something different in this one. Can you guess? Can you guess? <laughs> uh, I ended up dyeing my hair dark. I was ready to go back to my natural roots and uh, my hairdresser, Lisette, shout out to you if you're watching, you're amazing. She took me back to the dark side, but yeah, it still like kept some dimension into it and I, she really executed it like really well, in my opinion. So yeah, I am a brunette all over again and I've never felt more like myself. It's kind of weird, but I'm loving how my hair looks healthy and I also got a trim, but I needed my hair just to give it a break from all the bleaching. <laughs> I think I've babbled on long enough in this video, so let's go ahead and get started into the haul. First things first, I guess we'll start off with what I got from Sephora. I got four items from there. I got the Fenty Beauty Diamond Balm in the Cognac Candy. And this is just like perfection. This I got because I wanted to put it like, mostly like all over my body to give me that shimmer glow when I do have a tan because right now I'm looking real, a little pale. This, if you're in Sephora, and you have a chance to go touch this and just put it on your hand, you're gonna see like all the glitter that comes and it's just, you're just gonna look. Literally, she was in line when she said Diamond Bomb with this one. Then I needed a new bronzer, so I ended up getting this one by Kosas. And I have just been inspired by like natural type of makeup and I'm more into skincare so like that makeup no makeup type of look or no makeup makeup type of look um or where it's your skin but better I really wanted to try out this brand Kosas and I also wanted to get their foundation but I couldn't really determine what my shade was gonna be because I can't really like I had just gotten a facial and I didn't want to put it on my skin. Um, and also with this whole COVID stuff, it's been kind of hard just to even attempt to do that. But anyway, that's a whole different subject. Okay. So I wanted to try that one. And then speaking about no, like the no makeup makeup type of look, I got the Ilia foundation. This is in the color S T H Sheila Sheila, not really sure how to pronounce it, but uh, yeah, it is the Super Serum Skin Tint SPF 40 with niacinamide, squalene, and hyaluronic acid. And like I said, I'm really into the more natural type of makeup nowadays, and 
I do have like acne prone skin, but it, it is calming down a lot. Um, so I have a little bit of scarring left over, but I really don't mind that showing. I just wanted this to just like give me like an even base and just make my skin look a little bit better than what it is at the moment. So I'm actually wearing it right now because I wanted to test it. And so far I like it. Um, it is like a dewy finish. I have oily skin as well. So I put um, translucent powder, the one um, by Hourglass. And uh, so far I feel like it looks fine. Um, I'm not, I don't mind some of my imperfections showing. So I think it looks great so far. Um, then the last product that I got was from Charlotte Tilbury and it is the matte revolution luminous modern matte long lasting lipstick man that's a mouthful <laughs> but this is what it looks like and the packaging is so pretty and the color and look look at that detail it's beautiful my goal with this one, and in general, was to find a my lip but better type of skin color for this lipstick. And I think I found it. So that's what I'm wearing today as well. Also, I'm wearing the bronzer on my skin too. So I just wanted to test it all out because I have all this new stuff. What better way to use it than on this video? But yeah. Um, so I really like that one and so far I'm just loving like the whole combination that's going on right here on my face right now. <laughs> uh, but yeah. The next item of business is, I don't know if you guys remember Lush, the store, but I really used to love them back in like 2018, 2019 and I don't know why. I stopped ever using their products because I love that they're natural, the ingredients are simple, and there's not all these different types of chemicals in there. So I popped into that store and I ended up getting the Ocean Salt Face and Body Scrub. And this one you can use on your face and also your body, just like I said. Um, oh shoot. But this one, I just love how like brightening it makes your face and your skin feel. And I've been having like some issues with like acne, like on my shoulders and on my back. So I'm hoping that this will help clear it. And I know that back then when I was using it, it did. So I hope that this works again, like it used to. So I'm really excited to try this all over again. So the next items that I got at Target, I got a one piece bathing suit that was in black. I don't have it right now because I used it yesterday at the spa, otherwise I would show you. But the one that I do have that I haven't worn yet, this one is like this cute snake skin type with like rose gold hardware. This one was really cute. What I've noticed is I don't really like, I don't mind them, but I've also noticed that like my skin gets irritated when I have the ones that tie up around your neck. So I hope that the white dress doesn't give me that feeling, but usually bathing suits because I have to like tie them so tight to keep everything up um, and in its place. Um, it ends up like just giving me a rash on the back of my neck and then I am just feel uncomfortable. So this one I liked because it goes just like a bra wood um, over your shoulders and then it ties in the back like this. So that's really cute. And then I got the matching bottoms to go with it. They're kind of high, kind of high waist sort of, but this is what they look like. And it has like ruching in the back. This I got in a medium and this, did I also? I also got it in a medium. The top was $23 at Target and then this one was, the bottoms are 18. So yeah. Then for like, we all know we're here for the Abercrombie stuff. At least I would be if it was me clicking on this video, um, but I'm sure I mentioned it before, but I was inspired by springtime, summer, 
put me somewhere warm stat right now. Um, so the first thing that I got from Abercrombie, I got like seven things that I ordered online. The first one is this like beach bag, beach tote. And it is so cute. It's nice woven, it's not heavy or anything like that. Although I do wish it was kind of a little bit more sturdier, but I don't plan on putting much in here. Like when I go to the beach, I only have my towel, my sunglasses, my sunblock, my chapstick with SPF, some snacks, some water. Okay, that's a little bit more than a little bit of things. But those are my basics that I need. So I think this bag, I mean, I put all the items that I purchased, like, like the clothing items from Abercrombie into this bag and it managed to hold it while I was like going back and forth from where I'm filming right now. But um, it also has a zipper and a button in here so you can put like your keys or anything. Um, you don't have to go searching all the way at the bottom of the bag and losing those items. You can put your phone in there. Let me see how deep this zipper is. Big enough to hold your keys and your phone and your smaller little items. Um, so it's good. So this I thought would pair perfectly with a lot of the things that I have. And I don't know whether I should start with the beach stuff or end with the beach stuff. I think I'll end with it because it's the most exciting part <laughs> for me at least. The first thing, oh, I just, in this pile, notice, I also went to Urban Outfitters and I got myself a hat, this one. I've been in search for the perfect like LA hat and it's ribbed and it's beautiful and it's white. Like it's all white, like this is what I've been searching for. And I just couldn't seem to find it anywhere. But when I walked into Urban, it was like me, laser vision. Just, I see it, I want it, I'm gonna go get it. And there was only like two, two or three left. And I was like, I have to have it, I need it. Um, I also like that it adjusts because I have a big head too, so. Yeah, this one I'm so excited to wear, like on hikes when we go to LA and whatnot. Um, or airport outfit. I think it would look really cute like that too. Or at the beach, just saying. <laughs> but uh, back to the Abercrombie as I got distracted. Let's see, where should I start? I just love all of these things. Um, let me start with the long sleeve. So I ended up getting three bodysuits. And I don't know, just every single item that I, like shirt wise, that I liked happened to be in a bodysuit. So I'm sorry if you don't like bodysuits, but I just like these styles and I couldn't pass up on them. So the first one is this white cream looking one. It's like a scoop neck, it's long sleeve. There it is like that. This one was $69 and the tote, I wanna say it was, don't judge, but it was like 70. Ugh, $79. I don't know. Do you guys think it's worth $79 in your opinion? I do like that it's lightweight and I can like pack it up in a suitcase. So I think for that reason, I'm gonna keep it. Because when it's too bulky, I just wanna take a carry-on and I don't want to like wait for my luggage whenever I travel. So I think I'll keep it. But yeah, this is the white bodysuit and then I thought that would pair like good with like some joggers or some jeans, something like that. Then the next item that I got was this cute ribbed like blue gray type of shirt. It is a bodysuit, like I said, and it's like the bong style. So it's not gonna look like, you're not gonna see it when you're wearing the pants, like the line lining. I thought it was cute and I really like the buttons that it has as well. Then, this was definitely, when I saw it, I was like, this is kind of like Aritzia inspired and I don't know if you guys have ever been there, but for me, the cute, like their tank tops are so cute, but they just don't fit. Like 
up here. It's just not gonna happen. And when I saw this, I was really hoping that it wasn't gonna be like as tight as the Ritzia ones were. Um, so when I opened this up and I noticed that it was like stretchy, I was like, oh, thank you. Thank you so much. But this is what it looks like. It's so cute. I love how it looks. And this will look cute with like a white skirt, um, some, maybe some black leather pants, black leather skirt. Uh, what else? Jeans. It will go well with anything. Then I ended up picking up some jeans from Abercrombie. And these are the Flare Ultra Rise, Ultra High Rise. And I got these in a size 27. I was gonna try to get a size 26, but everything was selling out of my shopping cart like so quickly in my size. So I figured, okay, if I size up, then it'll be like, okay, if I wanna tuck something into my, my jeans. So it's fine. Um, this one, these were $89 and I'm really sad that I didn't get these when they were on, like when they had a sale. Oh, and the, the brown bodysuit was $49. These I got in a 27 short because I am short. And that's one thing that I really like about Abercrombie and Fitch is that not only do they appeal to like petite friendly, I'm 5'1", by the way, if you didn't notice, um, but they have petite, regular, and tall sizes. I wish like a lot more companies would end up doing this because we're not one size fits all type of shape or height or whatever you want to call it. Um, so that's why I really like Abercrombie and Fitch because they make their jeans in like petite friendly, their dresses in petite friendly, and like that to me, take my money all day. <laughs> but yeah, these are a little bit different for me because they are flared and then they have the raw hem too. So I was thinking these would look so good with the brown bodysuit. Um, also, well, all the bodysuits that I got, but like the light blue gray one and then the brown one. Um, I'm just picturing with like some cute heels, um, sandals, like kitten heels or something like that during the springtime, summertime. Um, so I'm really excited to try these on. And then for the stars of the show, well, to me, because I wanna be by the beach. Like I said, they appeal to petite, they appeal to the tall and regular sized people. These, I've been on the hunt for like a good type of linen, white, pants for the beach, like a cover up. Um, and when I saw these, I knew I had to have it because they made them in the short version. This is what it looks like. They have like a stretchy waistband and they're high waisted. And then they also kind of like flare and are loose. Um, I do realize that they are a little bit see-through, but it's okay because it's for the beach. It's not like I'm gonna be wearing these out to the grocery store or something <laughs> like that. But yeah, these I'm so excited to wear. Those were in a size small short for this one. And it was $55 for these. And then for my favorite, favorite, favorite item, I picked up a dress. Because like I said, they make them in the short version. And when I saw this, I knew I had to have it. And it's giving me like Take me to Greece vibes, you know, <laughs> like somewhere tropical. This is like also the linen-y dress and it has like a sweetheart neckline, but it also ties up around your neck. So the way this is looking with my hair right now, I'm, I'm living for it. So it's long, it's like has, let's see, one, two, three tiers. And I'm so excited. This will look so cute with like some sandals, maybe some brown sandals, or like some gold heels, and then the beach bag. Um, yeah, it's gonna be great. I know it. Oh, I'm so excited for it to get warmer. <laughs>
So that concludes the end of my video. If you enjoyed today's haul, please go ahead and give that video a like. And once again, don't forget to subscribe as well if you like this content. Um, I'm hoping you guys all have a really, really, really amazing day, amazing week, and follow those dreams, okay? Hope you guys all have a wonderful day. Bye.